Hey guys, welcome back to our virtual programming. Today, we are going to be making a virtual steam handprint leprechaun craft. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to make a handprint with a piece of orange paper. Now I had already made mine, it's on the back, so that's my handprint. So, in order for a leprechaun to be a leprechaun, you want them to have an orange beard or a red beard, right? So, this handprint will serve as the beard for your leprechaun. And I am cutting my fingers out, like, not perfectly. I wanted the beard to be... I, I didn't want my fingers to be so thin looking on the paper. So I wanted his beard to have more consistency, so I am just... Um, cutting up the fingers a little bit wider. Okay. So now we have our handprint. I'm just turning it around to see how I want it to be and I noticed I have marks on the back so I can't use that side so I'll use this. So now we are going to make the hat for our leprechaun and I'm just freehanding this. It's not perfect but I'm kind of matching up the beard with the hat now to see how big I should make the hat and I'm just making a a short, kind of wide, little lepre leprechaun hat. Kind of just try to make it round and short, you know. Now I'm going to start cutting that out after I finish tracing it on there. Okay, so now that it's almost cut out, you guys can see what it looks like. So now that we have our leprechaun hat and our leprechaun beard, we are going to make the, the face of the leprechaun, the skin, okay? So I used a kind of off-white piece of paper. I'd hesitate to call it tan or beige, but it's definitely kind of off-white, almost a cream color. And I'm just making the head for my leprechaun, and I know that I can always make it smaller, so I made it kind of bigger, you know, so I have more room for error. I'm just cutting it out. Just in the same kind of size as the other two. So now I'm going to glue all three of those together. So I have to make the belt for my hat as well. But before I do that, I'm going to shorten up the face of the leprechaun. So I just made it a little bit smaller. So that's good. Now we're going to make the belt for the hat of my leprechaun. So there's my glue stick. And I'm just going to glue down everything right where it is. And I originally glued the face on way too high up. I really don't like how long the beard turned out on the leprechaun. And you'll see at the end that I did shorten it by removing it and re-gluing it down. But this is just essentially how it's going to look. How long or short you want your beard of the leprechaun to be is up to you. So now we are going to make the belt for the leprechaun. I'm just lining up this piece of paper with the hat and just drawing according to, you know, the width of it. Nothing perfect, just pretty simple and I, can, I know I can kind of go back and tailor anything that I don't like. 
not a big deal. So I'm just putting that belt on there. And I'm going to glue that belt down, my glue stick, after I finish trimming it. So here's my glue stick, and I'm just gluing down in a straight line. So now, of course, we have to make the buckle for our belt on our hat of our leprechaun. So I use this technique a lot. I love making things symmetrical. Um, like in this scenario, I like make, making things symmetrical. So I just cut out a square. I folded the piece of paper, cut out a square. Now I'm going to cut out another square on the inside of the fold, you know. So when I open it up, it'll have a nice buckle look to it. So I'm just going to open that up. Now you can see how it turned out. So that's how you get a nice buckle by using the folding technique. So just glue that on there. Make it nice and center. So now, I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to give him a face. I'm going to start out by drawing two eyes. And a mouth. Now I'm going to have some red paper here. I'm going to draw him a nose. Just a simple kind of oval or circle shaped nose. I'm just going to cut that out. So now that it's cut out, I'm going to go over and, you know, trim it a little bit. I don't like the way it turned out, I guess. So, I go back and fix it. Alright. I'm going to glue that down. Alright, now we need the eyebrows. So I'm going to use the folding technique um, to do this one. And I didn't use it in the best to its ability. Um, I should have just matched the papers up and just cut. Not along the fold, but I did cut along the fold. Um, you'll see how it turned out. But I managed to work it out. So see how it just came out like a symmetrical square? I didn't want that. I wanted two different pieces, but I went back and I fixed it. I separated it, and I didn't like how thick they were, so I figured I would trim them up a little bit. Okay. So there's the eyebrows. So that's how it turned out, but I did go back and fix it. So I'll show you guys that. So I took a pink marker and gave him pink cheeks. But at the very end of the video, you will see that I did bring his beard down a little bit shorter. So this turned out to be the finished product. I went back in and I was able to separate the head from the beard. And I pushed the head down further along the palm of the handprint. And then it made the beard look shorter. So that's how I did that. Now on the back, it, it, it is a little bit ripped on the back, but you can't really see that. So if you have that issue, I wouldn't worry about that much. So that's how it turned out. Let me guys know what you think.